Hello, my name is Sarah and I'm a tutor at Laird Learning Centre. We have a grant through the Scottish Government's Climate Challenge Fund um, for Seasons of Change, which helps people in the community reduce waste, repair and recycle and reduce the food waste. Okay, so we are going to have a go at making our tomato soup or um, uh, haria, as we call it in North Africa or particularly in Morocco. Um, Harira is quite easy to make, although you might think it needs uh, quite a lot of ingredients, but it's cheap and uh, easy to make. Uh, I've learned actually learned how to make Harira mostly by watching mum and other uh, members of my family making or cooking in general. And um, yeah, once once you try it once, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to, to make. Okay, so let me take you through the ingredients. We're going to need um, about a couple of celery um, sticks. Now, the best part of um, to use is actually the inside part or the leaf, the leaf bits of the celery, and that's a good way of using any leftover uh, celery uh, bits that you just didn't uh, get to use in salads or cooking with in general. Um, I've got some parsley here from uh, my mother-in-law's garden actually uh, some coriander here i've got some um, tiny or very thin pasta now i've seen me using uh, broken pieces of pasta again a great way of using um, leftover or, or broken down your broken pasta so that's a great way of using it i've got one onion i've got a, a tin of tomatoes um, I've got some chickpeas, about half a cup I would I would say. Now this chickpeas, um, I made it the, the night before. Um, you can actually soak your chickpeas or cook your chickpeas by soaking, uh, soaking them overnight in water. And then uh, the best way to cook them, I think, is to pop them in a slow cooker for whatever time, two, three, four hours, and until they're nice and, and soft and buttery. So that's for chickpeas. That way, this way actually is a lot cheaper uh, than buying it in, in a can. Okay, so we've got a teaspoon of ground ginger. We've got about a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. It just gives it um, a nice aromatic uh, flavor. Uh, about a tablespoon of uh, vegetable stock or chicken stock, uh, if you have. Uh, I'm using about half a cup of green uh, lentils again or any other uh, pulses that you, may, you might have lying about and you just want to use it up two tablespoons of plain flour that helps for to thicken thicken the the sort of the harira i've got here about a tablespoon and a half of salt about a tablespoon of black pepper or depends if you don't like it very very spicy you can reduce the amount and i've got here i'm going to use about two tablespoons of a ripsidor or any kind of oil you might have handy and of course we're going to need some water boiling water um, i'm going to start with two liters because this this harira it makes quite a lot of um, a lot of harira for you so you need two liters of water and uh, that can feed up to eight to ten people okay let's have a, a make a start in you making the harina now uh, there are some ingredients that we need to start with first and then others um, in a later a later stage so the first stage we're gonna have uh, our chopped up celery the herbs the onions and tomatoes okay so we're going to blitz the herbs and the vegetables first and put them in a pan. Okay, so stay there. So, just roughly chopping the veg and the celery. And the same thing for uh, the parsley and the coriander. It's, uh, it's really it's quite easy it's quite easy to make this harira and it's uh, quite filling all right i'm gonna go ahead and add my onion okay and my tomatoes you can use 
use chopped up tomatoes or whole tomatoes passata is works as well so anything that you've got available is is fine just giving that a shake to make a little bit more space for the coriander okay so a nice handful like this again chop it up roughly and this is a quick way um, of making harira i mean i know my mum uh, wouldn't approve my quick and fast method but is that the same way sorry mum <laughs> okay so let's blend everything that's going to be a bit noisy I'm going to add my spices. I'm going to give that one because I'm going to use it to some uh, mixture in it. So I'm going to add my salt and pepper, ginger and the as a, just a sprinkle of cinnamon. Okay, so our harina has been cooking for another 30 minutes, just until the um, lentil is cooked nice and soft. 
So you can try it, just it, it goes nice and soft when you try it with your, on your fingers. So now into the last stage uh, of our harira making, which is adding the flour with a bit of water and then the uh, small uh, pasta. Okay, so here I've got about half a cup of water, just cold water, and to that I'm going to add about two tablespoons of flour. Now, the idea is to, to make the flour, to make the, the soup, sorry, nice and thick, but not too thick. I will show you the consistency to, to work towards. Okay, that's it done. And then, so this is my water and flour consistency, as you can see, and I'm just going to add it into the harira. And from here, I want to keep a good eye on it. Make sure the flour doesn't clamp and doesn't sink into the bottom. Okay, so just keep I'll give it a good five minutes anyway, giving it my attention. I'm not going to go anywhere. Okay, so we left our harira, once we added the flour, we left it to cook for another five minutes, mixing all the time. And now I'm going to add my um, thing or small pasta. And again, it shouldn't take long, no more than five minutes. And I'm going to turn the, the gas off and leave it until I need it. Okay, so that's our harira ready. Uh, serve it with some homemade bread or baguette and uh, it's perfect for, for lunches and um, light suppers. Okay. I hope you enjoyed our um, recipes and cookie today. And please feel free to check out our uh, YouTube uh, site uh, for more recipes that we made. Thank you.